Hey guys, welcome to another stovetop Walmart grocery haul. Um, first off, I got these Hillshire Farms Turkey Little Smokies and the Guy Fiera Fully Cooked Chicken Tequila Lime Chicken Sausages. Most of you probably know by now that I follow a low carb diet. And so I like to have things like this on hand in case I get hungry and I get tempted to eat like peanut butter, or, you know, something that isn't low carb. Two cartons of the 100% egg whites. I use those in my protein pancakes and sometimes just to make a quick omelet. I got this ragu double cheddar sauce. Um, it was in the sale area. And the reason I got it was I thought it would be fun to make um, like some... Uh, macaroni and cheese type stuff. I use the Miracle Noodles, the shirataki pasta. Uh, there's no calories, no carbs. There's really no nutrition to them. And so I like to add those in. Another bag of premium romaine salad mix. A bag of organic green kale. And I got that because I'm going to be making a soup, a vegetable soup. And I don't particularly care for cooked cabbage, so I thought kale might be a nice alternative. Some almond flour meal, because I'm going to be making um, a dish from the Protein Chef's channel. Mm -hmm. They were called deflated bacon barbecue balls or something. The video is really cute. Um, he used the uh, deflate gate as part of his presentation. Then I got organic, cage-free, fresh brown eggs. Some of these hard-boiled eggs, I've shown these before. We like to keep these on hand, either Mike for breakfast or me for a quick snack. A yellow onion. Some sour cream. That is going to make the stripes on the little football meatballs that I'm going to make. The ground chuck for that. The hickory smoked barbecue sauce. And the reason I picked this one, I looked at all the other ones. And this, it has sugar and molasses, but it ha didn't have any high, fru high fructose corn syrup and that was really the only one that I found that didn't have high fructose corn syrup in it and I got two bags of this so that I can put it in the meatballs and garnish it with this and bacon bits we already have bacon bits and then I got some lettuce and last but not least I didn't get these at Walmart I got those online on the Miracle Noodle um, website and then because I can't find any more of these I bought these icebreaker mints to fill this back up I still have a few left but I don't know why they stopped making this but it's okay you can recycle it and fill that with these so that was my little Walmart grocery haul and I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna in my soup I'm gonna have the kale and then I'm gonna have canned tomatoes I have some frozen green beans that I thought I'm gonna put those in and then I have frozen vegetable mix with cauliflower and it has peppers and all sorts of good stuff so maybe I'll show you the soup when I get done okay well thanks for watching guys and I'll just talk to you in my next video bye hey guys so this is my version of a diet detox nothing <laughs> soup um, I started out with organic chicken broth and I added in two packages of the miracle noodles um, half a pound of green beans two cans of diced tomatoes um, a bunch of kale um, and then a bag of stir-fry vegetables which had peppers and those little corns and did I say mushrooms so anyway that's it. Oh, there's a bay leaf. I put bay leaves in. I put oregano in, garlic, onions. Oh yeah, the onions are in there too. So it's just a big pot of vegetable soup. And then, hi Bruno. What do you want? Hi. And then Mike is making, get back. Come on Bruno, it's hot. Mike is making what he calls halibut a la Mike. So that's interesting. Anyway, 
So that's my soup, and I just got done doing a 45 minute, three mile Leslie Sansone walk DVD workout, and it was good. I did it last night. It's that new one that I had gotten at Value Village, and I really enjoyed it, so I did it again tonight. So, yeah, I've gotten four workouts in. Yippee! Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.